Hello and what is up you guys? It has been a while since I have seen you and you have seen me. Now, I'm here. Uh, you can't see me, obviously, because I'm streaming right now and I'm using my webcam on the stream as well as I don't want you to see me because I look kind of silly. Um, so, the video for today, uh, or at least for now, I'm not sure if I'm going to make any more video, I don't know if I'm going to make more videos or not, um, is, it's a League of Legends versus StarCraft 2 comparison. I've played both games, I've played both games at a relatively high level, uh, well, League of Legends, I don't know, I'm not level 30 yet, so I haven't played the game enough, um, to truly, or I haven't played ranked at all, but I, I can play, I'm not terrible at the game, and I usually don't lose. And if I do lose, I just blame it on my team, like the rest of the League of Legends community, right? So, um, so I've got a Braum, Braum support in this League of Legends game against Annie bot, and I can't remember who else was bot. I played that a few days ago, and then I played the StarCraft game today. It's a ZVT, um, and as you can see, you have a keyboard camera as well, which is something that oh, it's a server, okay, which is something that you don't. It's really important to me that you see the difference in what you do on the keyboard um, when you're playing StarCraft as opposed to League. Um, because I feel like the the StarCraft mechanics are a lot harder. But So let's get started. Um, obviously, League is significantly more popular than StarCraft. So that's something worth mentioning. StarCraft used to own eSports, then League took over, unfortunately. I prefer StarCraft, honestly. I'm not going to... I'm not going to sound mean, or I'm not going to be mean or anything, but I prefer it. Either way, both of them are really good games, so we can't complain about that. Um, so as far as, like, aesthetically pleasing, I think StarCraft is more aesthetically pleasing. I don't know a lot about graphics, but I do enjoy looking at Creep more than I lo enjoy looking at anything in League of Legends. Um, so... In my opinion, StarCraft is significantly more aesthetically appealing. Um, but that's just me, and that's completely opinionated like this review. Um, so, really the comparison is I just want to put a side-by-side, -side and I want to see the skill level difference. Uh, StarCraft skill kind of transfers over League of Legends in the sense that I still have 180 APM. Um, in League of Legends. I don't actually have 180 APM in League of Legends because um, I don't have as much stuff to do in League of Legends, but I could potentially play just as fast. Um, and so yeah, so that's worth mentioning. The um, So my opinion, StarCraft, it takes a lot more skill and this is why I'm supporting the opinion. I'm just I'm gonna watch the keyboard camera for just a minute. You'll watch my StarCraft keyboard. I'm actually doing stuff there. You'll watch the um the League of Legends keyboard. Nothing's going on there. I'm just right clicking. Occasionally I hit T because I have that set to attack. Um because that's what I have it set to on StarCraft. I also do have the mini map on the left side in League, which is something most players don't have. Um Starcraft here's why I think it's a bit, here's why I prefer Starcraft over League of Legends um, first off the game honestly is harder to play it's just harder to learn the learning curves way steeper just in general it's a harder game to play um, the only people that will ever argue that are people who've never played Starcraft it's harder to get good it's harder to get into freaking Diamond League in Starcraft then it, it's harder. Uh, and I know this because I've been in Diamond League in both games. I said I didn't play ranked. I never played on my account. I did play on other people's accounts because I wasn't patient enough to level myself up. I did play on my little brother's account for a very, very long time, which I'm sure is frowned upon in the League community. But I did get up to Diamond with um, in solo queue with a solid support. I had my other brother supporting me. And so, like, it's not... The skill difference, it took me longer to get to Diamond in StarCraft than it did in League. That being said, League is, you know, it's a team game, so your team is relevant, and with solo queue, you can get the random player that sucks. 
either way. So I was I was in good shape where I had a support there, but that's why I prefer StarCraft. Or that's another reason I prefer StarCraft is it's a solo game. Um, solo games are good games in my opinion. I don't like having to rely on my team because if they're full of imbecilts, um, it's annoying to me because I don't like dealing with idiots. And it's even worse if they are on my team. By the way, this support is not my brother, but he is a really good support I played with um, just while up in Random Finder. I'm level 29 now, so I'll almost be able to play ranked here in a bit. So, so that's something worth mentioning. As far as a, uh, as far as gameplay like mechanics go, as far as variety goes, here's the thing: StarCraft, it has like the argument for variety is always in League of Legends favor obviously unless you're having that argument with a League of Legends or with a StarCraft fanatic in the sense that everybody says you know there are 100 plus champions all that variation five champions per team um, there are 13 plus units in StarCraft right all that variation um, I can't remember exactly how many units are in StarCraft if we look at the Zerg Arsenal there are like six combat units or something I don't know there we're just going to assume there are 13 plus units per race. But you can have up to, you know, 200 of each of those units. 200 marines. Okay, so you have 49 marines and one marauder. How is that different than 200 marines? It's the same thing as having, you know, two dravens and one alistair, even though that's not possible. Or it's, it's the same variety as two of one champ and two of another. I should get this kill here. Oh, do I? Nope. <laughs> That's fine. So long as they're scared of me. Is that Annie gonna... I think I can take her. Severe came back. I should go heal. I don't know. I might be able to get both. Nah, I'll end up dying. I've got too many stacks to risk it anyway. I wouldn't do that. Anyway, <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. But So StarCraft, as far as like ability to play... Freaking StarCraft has League Beat. As far as community goes, the StarCraft community is so much nicer than League of Legends community. Um, League of Legends community is just full of trolls. They're all jerks, which is fine. I mean, that's it's part of the game. You have to deal with those trolls, and that's fine. I've got nothing against that. It doesn't bother me. But what bothers me the most, or what bothers me, is when they intentionally throw games. I well. This comes back to like the team thing, where I'm fine if they're like, if they're freaking, if they're just bad, but if they're intentionally feeding, and that drives me nuts. And it drives me nuts when like they're bad, and I can't pull them back because, I mean, granted, I've been the bad person before too. I don't want to, I don't want to sound like I'm not bad at league. I'm good. I'm not phenomenal though I'm not like pro level um, and I have played quite a bit of league as well so that's something that will are you kind of against me here but yeah so so you have you have the the competitive the competitive scene right now League of Legends wins the difficulty to play uh, StarCraft wins and the so the f the friends part the ability to play with your friends both of them you can actually play with your friends pretty easily um it's not a question of whether or not you can play with your friends though it's a question of the gameplay with your friends it's a lot more fun to play a league with a group of friends than it is to play without um or to play so it's it's more fun to play league with a whole ton of friends than it is in starcraft 2 which is kind of obvious in my opinion it makes sense starcraft 2 is obviously a more popular game or league of legends is obviously a more popular game a lot more of your friends will end up playing it take it away wow nice i don't even have any mana um gg prom <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so it's a lot harder, it's not nearly as much fun to play with your friends. So that's something, like, that's a really, really big downside to StarCraft 2, is, like, it's kind of like a solo game if you aren't working together. And so, and, 
And in League, teamwork's really, really important. That's another downside of StarCraft, is you don't have the teamwork aspect, because when you play, you play alone. Um, so as far as game progression goes, uh, StarCraft starts out slow, gets really fast, really fun, if that makes sense. Like, you start out just macroing up, you don't build hardly any units, you just establish your economy. And if Blizzard accelerated the games, I think, or at least that portion of the games, I think it'd be a little bit more fun. But, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. If, um... As far as League game progression goes, you kind of have to pay attention the whole game. But near the end of League games, it just kind of gets into a cluster of team fights where everybody's just shooting down the middle and hoping they win. And whoever has the best champion composition pretty much always wins, um, even if one of their guys is slightly fed. If everybody plays it smart, whoever has the best champion composition wins. Um, but you don't always play it smart. Or you don't always have a team that plays it smart. So... So that's another, you know, kind of slight problem with it. Um, skill base, skill base, StarCraft wins, teams, League of Legends wins. Um, actually, something I forgot to mention in Variety and I completely forgot about is uh, all the different items uh, kind of beat StarCraft and Variety. Um, so I guess if you think about it, StarCraft do or League of Legends does win in Variety as far as unit compositions go. Um, you can't implement all the variety at once, I mean, so that's something worth mentioning. And not everything is always used, but that's in StarCraft as well. So, yeah. Um, okay, I'm back. I took a little bit of a break, but it should be fine. Um, so, we're comparing StarCraft 2 to League of Legends. This is kind of part 2 in a sense, so I'll be in one video though, which is always a good thing. Um, so, I'm just, I'm watching these games. Oh, am I gonna, yeah, I got it. Okay, run. Do I get away? I think I do. Recall. Good. Good. Okay, so StarCraft has a superior gameplay, in my opinion. This is all my opinion. It has the superior. I mean, RTSs are better than MOBAs. We just have to. We just have to state that. Actually, honestly, the only the only big differences that I see with these two games is MOBAs are nothing compared to an RTS. And like, if League were an RTS. League would probably be a better game. That being said, if League were an RTS, I mean, it wouldn't be League of Legends. So, I mean, why mention that? But the in-game mechanics of StarCraft, the balance issues. In League of Legends, there are no balance issues, right? Because everything has the potential to be a mirror matchup. But in StarCraft... Now, I don't like to talk about balance because, honestly, I don't care. I don't, th I don't care that Widow Mines are... A little bit too good. I don't care that freaking Banelings kick butt. I don't care that Swarm Hosts are unbeatable. And Colossus, I mean, you know, let's hard count on them, so I don't care about that either. But the things I do care about are, uh, oh my gosh, Draven's good. Um, the things, I don't care about it, but I have to mention it. Right now, are in the current state of StarCraft 2, this is Harless Worm, this is not Legacy of the Void. Once Legacy of the Void comes out, by the way, I think StarCraft 2 will have a big, big boost of players, or at least fans, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm hoping to be, like, Masters GM-ish by then, you know. <laughs> I know that's really hypothetical, but I'm a little bit serious about it. I think it's going to, they're going to announce it in November. And if they change the multiplayer gameplay, I'm going to try to get Masters, like, GM-ish type thing. Um, if they aren't, then I'm probably just going to play a lot more League of Legends, honestly. So. Oh, does she turn around? What an idiot. There we go. I got her. Just ult. Just ult, bro. Come on, me. Just ult. Come on, just ult. See, really? He won't get us, that's for sure, but... 
At least not both of us. Oh, come on. Barrier. Good. I'm not going to be able to get him. I should... Oh, okay. I finally died. <laughs> um, so, so once Legacy of the Void comes out, I think the, um, the League of Legends community, or the StarCraft 2 community, will be a lot bigger. I think a lot of the old StarCraft 2 players will go back to StarCraft 2. Um, so I think he'll have a big boost of players then, and then it'll slowly, they'll dribble, they'll slowly go down. I mean, StarCraft 2 is like a four-year-old game, right? I can't remember when it was released, released if it were 11 or 12, um, but it's, it's still pretty old. Um... By the way, once you understand how widow mines work, the RNG in it isn't so much RNG. I didn't have turrets up there yet, which is kind of odd. Either way, um, so I think there will be a big boost of players in the StarCraft 2 community. But for now, we're stuck in the back end of it. Like our esports, we used to have, you know, $100,000 prizes now we have ten thousand dollar prizes type thing and so so starcraft 2 is slowly losing its you know its excitement which is fine it happens but league of legends is growing strong and so if you are looking for a game to play with your friends might as well try league of legends it doesn't cost anything if you're looking for a competitive game um without a competitive scene <laughs> Oh, I think that was when I realized I never finished Burrow. <laughs> that was annoying. Um, yeah. I mean, I've got nothing more to say. We're just gonna watch this gameplay, and if I come up with something, I will uh, say it. But I don't know. Just StarCraft, like StarCraft's a fantastic game, but you can't really compare a MOBA to an RTS. It just doesn't work like that. <laughs> I think this is the part where I made a whole ton of freaking corruptors instead of what are they called? The thingies that you infestors. Oh, I was balance issues. So the RNG in StarCraft, it's there. Like the balance issues are there. They're a thing. Um, I don't usually talk about them. I don't know a lot about them. I know people whine about swarm posts because they're free units, but people whine about infestors. And nobody uses infestors for free units anymore. So I don't know. But, I mean, all in all, they're both phenomenal games. I'd play them both over and over again. And, yeah, this StarCraft campaign, it's worth buying the game just for that. So, really, StarCraft, it's a game of your preference. And, frankly, I think it's a better game. If you've played StarCraft, a lot of the people that hate on StarCraft are people who haven't played StarCraft before. And so, if you've played StarCraft and you still prefer League of Legends, that's fine. And you can play StarCraft for free. Uh, you just gotta download their trial and play 1v1 OBS games. Um, and those are they're the same as the, uh, the actual game. Anyway, so I will be streaming both whenever I want to. I'll stream League of Legends and I'll stream StarCraft primarily and then occasionally Minecraft. It just, it just depends on what I feel like playing. Um, and right now I feel like playing a lot of StarCraft, a lot of League, no Minecraft, because I think Minecraft lost its replayability. It was huge, now it's just, I've lost it. It's a lot. Like, Minecraft just isn't the same game for me. So we'll see. There we go. I'm just destroying guys, holy crap. Wow. Anyway, so uh, I think that's the end of the recording. The StarCraft game is just about over. I should be going in there to win now. I'm just going to watch this final battle because I enjoy it. I have the Infestors and all the accidental Corruptors that I could have made into Broodlords, but I didn't really need to, and a whole ton more Zerglings because Zerglings are good units. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. 
be sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lurange. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, I think I'm Lurange on Twitter or Lurange MLG. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm Lurange. I am Lurange at Lurange MLG on Twitter. Obviously, I don't actually have, I'm not actually MLG, unfortunately, but um, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter, and I do stream on Hitbox, but if you want chat interaction, you have to go to Twitch, because I don't like to read the chat from both of them, because it's annoying. Anyway, so that's the end of the StarCraft game. GG, GLHF, enjoy both games, they're both great games, and I highly recommend both of them. Have a nice day.